What is poppin' people? It's your boy Mikey JTV in the mother of place to be. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to maximize your damage um, using kind of obvious techniques and not so obvious techniques. We're gonna start off with the most obvious things. Um, of course, we'll look at my boy D Luke here. All right, so I have him at level 60. So one of the obvious things would be to, you know, level him up, get him some, uh, get him some good gear artifacts all plus you're going to want to have anything with like attack percent or uh, attack percent sub so because the attack percent sub always has a chance to get a get a little boost while you're leveling it so that's kind of one of the obvious thing another thing is weapons this particular weapon has energy charge but if we switch to the prototype it's got a base um it's got base attack and attack percentage. So this will also a boost boost your attack. And sometimes through talents, we can basically figure out how we can squeeze just a little bit more damage out of our character. So um, I don't think Deluke has any talents that have, you know, anything that scales from damage or, um, or anything like that. But what we're going to do is we're gonna look at Bennett our boy Bennett so a lot of people are saying he's not good he's not this he's not that um Bennett's role is purely support all right now let's look at his talents so you can build Bennett one of two ways you can build him tanky to be a healer or you can build him stacked with attack to be a an attack booster now his 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 base attack really isn't too impressive when you think about it but his ultimate fantastic voyage he makes a he makes a ring around the uh play area and if you switch a character into that ring it's going to do either one of two things if um if the character that you put in the circle is below 70 percent he's going to regain hp if you put him in the circle with above 70 percent hp He's going to gain an attack bonus based on Bennett's attack. So you can build Bennett one of two ways. You can build him as a healer or you can build him as an attack buffer. Um, nine times out of 10, since we're talking about attack in this video, you want to build him as an attack buffer. So when he does throw out that, um, throw out that ult, you can switch to your main DPS and put him in that bubble. And um, it's not really a bubble, <laughs> it's a circle. Put him in that circle and he'll do a lot more attack. It's based on his base attack, like I said before. So um, just depending on how you build him, that's how much extra attack you'll have. So um, let's look at Barbara. See, um, let's look at her weapon. This is another great way to get more attack for, you know, you can squeeze out as much attack as you can. Um, her book, Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayers. Um, when characters, when switching characters, a new character taking the field has their attack increased by 24% per, for 10 seconds. Now, obviously, if you've summoned in the game, you have this book or you've had this book. Um, when you summon and you feed like three stars into your weapons, be wary that this three star book is not bad as a matter of fact this is probably one of the best books to put on uh barbara or um any support mage i think uh mona uh lisa you probably want to be doing more damage with them but as her being a support mage this is probably the best book for her because she also um this allows her to boost attack so definitely get this refined up to five um, so that I, I'm not sure what the max is on that, but nine times out of 10, it's probably pretty busted. So I've only got one copy because I literally just figured this out. Basically, I'm I'm just now in the process of min maxing my uh, my characters. So all in due time, ladies and gentlemen, all in due time. So if we're looking at our elemental re resonance, the Fire Elemental Resonance is the only one that gives you an attack increase. Fervent Flames gives you uh, Affected Cryo for 40% less time and you it innately increases your attack by 25%. This goes for your entire team. So for this one, Zhang Ling is my secondary attacker. 
Fischl's my support, and Barbara's my healer. So nine times out of 10, if you have the Jangling, the Luke combo, or Jang or Deluke Amber, Jangling Amber, Bennett Amber, Bennett Jangling, you're going to get that 25% attack boost. So if you're going for max damage, you always want to have two fire units on your team. I didn't make the game. That's just how it's played. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think that it's about it. If you guys have any other tips to maximize your damage, go ahead and put them down in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next Genshin Impact video. Once again, don't forget to like, rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It's been your boy, Mikey JTV, and the mother of place to be. And as always, guys, peace.